hello students uh, up to now uh, we have uh, developed the theory of uh, feedback amplifiers we have understood what feedback is how can we introduce negative feedback in the amplifiers we have uh, understood various advantages and disadvantages of the negative feedback amplifiers we have done uh, so many derivations also so up to now we have developed the theory of negative feedback amplifiers okay now we will use that theory those conclusions to analyze our practical circuits now okay so our next and very important topic is method of analysis of feedback amplifiers how can we analyze our practical circuits okay so let's begin first of all what does analysis mean what do we mean by analysis of feedback amplifier by analysis we mean we have to find out the input resistance output resistance output resistance including load gains various gains okay analysis means we have to find out various quantities of amplifier circuit okay we have to find again we have to find out uh, input resistance output resistance gain output resistance including load okay so how can we find uh, these quantities me or we can say how can we analyze our circuit there is a procedure step by step procedure to analyze our given circuit of feedback amplifier okay so let's begin method of analysis of feedback amplifier what is step 1 step 1 is we have to identify the topology of feedback okay as we know there are four topologies your given circuit will be from one of the topology what are the four topologies of feedback amplifier voltage series voltage shunt current series and current shunt given circuit will be from one of the feedback topology so we have to first identify the topology because we have developed the theory for each and every topology okay so if we can identify the topology of the feedback amplifier we can easily analyze that circuit with the help of theory we already developed in our previous classes okay so first of all we have to identify the topology so how can we identify the topology so for that uh, there are so many point of views for the method of identification of the topology of the feedback uh prima facie method of identification of the topology is very simple uh, we will take uh, one example of each topology to identify to understand the identification of the uh, topology of the feedback okay so let us take first 
this circuit okay here here first of all we have to find out is there any feedback in the circuit or not because uh, topology identification of the topology is the secondary thing first of all we have to find out whether it there is a feedback or not in the circuit okay so if we can find that there is a feedback in the circuit then we we will identify which type of topology is this so first of all whether there is a feedback or not yes there is a feedback in the circuit how this re this re uh, wait a moment so yes there is a feedback in this circuit this re is common in the input circuit and the output circuit why this is output circuit because <coughs> we are taking output from emitter so this is our output voltage and this is our input circuit okay so this re is common between input circuit and output circuit so there will be some feedback from this r from output to input okay now we are sure that there is a feedback in this circuit now we will find which type of topology is this okay so prime of phase we can say there is a um, simple prima facie method of identification okay so as as i have already uh, told you that there are uh, three point of views of uh, method of identification uh, first of all we are taking we are taking the prima facie uh, method of identification what is how can we identify prima facie there is a very simple method if first of all we will identify the output terminal what is output terminal here this emitter is the output terminal after that we will identify which is the feedback terminal feedback uh, feed, feedback terminal uh, is also emitter because uh, feedback is going through this terminal so here output terminal and feedback terminal is same okay so if output terminal and feedback terminal is same then we can say it will be voltage sampling and if feedback terminal and output terminal are different then that will be current sampling okay so here the output terminal and feedback terminal is same so it will be voltage sampling now we have to identify which type of mixing is there so for identification of type of mixing we have to find out whether there is a uh, current division in the input section from input to output or the feedback voltage is coming in series with the source voltage here feedback voltage is coming in series with the source voltage there is no current division in the input circuit okay so if this is the case when feedback voltage is coming in series with the source voltage just like in this case then 
the mixing will be of voltage mixing okay so sampling is of voltage and the mixing is of also voltage and voltage mixing is basically series mixing okay so this will be your voltage series feedback tone okay the actual method of identification will take later on but now we are taking just uh, prima facie method of identification just we will look into the circuit and tell within a moments that it is a that particular type of feedback topology okay <coughs> now let us take the second example this is your uh, amplifier circuit with FET here also output terminal and feedback terminal is same source terminal okay so this is also voltage sampling feedback voltage is coming in series with the source voltage that's why it is that's why it is series mixing so this is also voltage series feedback to 